and we're back with another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator 2. I'm your CRPG guy. And when we last left off, we were building some low tier rigs, trying to kind of empty out our massive, massive inventory of, for lack of a better term, crap. Um, and in a sense, we're also going to be uh, doing, accomplishing some good things with some of these builds, but we're looking for like single sticks, uh, random kind of stuff that's just lying around in our in our shop here. Before we start working on kind of the medium tier stuff, um, and uh, as we progress through the game, that'll get better and better and better. But yeah, anything that's a single stick or a third stick or eight gigs, maybe like these. There's a lot of these eight gigs here. There's a bunch of them here but again we could use those on nicer machines just for straight up quality quantity of memory because there's a balance between speed and everything else but we're not coming up with much so we might just have to bite the bullet and just start using whatever we oh here's one it's eight gig of four thousand i don't care that much for that issue um already out of one terabyte drives which is fine we will find others um and we're not looking to power charge these all that much we're just looking to kind of we're on the last maybe four to six of the cheapo computers that we're trying to kind of part ways with and we want to get rid of anything that's not a double um because we're going to be building lots of double, uh, lots of these double computers here. So I'm seeing these ones here. This is not even, so it's going to be these two for sure. Probably this one and this one, these computers, because there's no really good option. That's not something we can SLI. Now, some of you might say, well, you're going through all this trouble, man, to SLI and crossfire some cards. You're not going to get computer performance that great because of it, because they're very low tier cards. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not the point. It's the, I think it'll add a value to the computer um, for better and for worse. It'll increase the computer's overall value um, to have dual cards and then be able to raise the performance of said cards. However... The only ones I don't think it'll apply to are the sheens. Their their demand on the voltage or the power supply is so heavy. Unless we put them in with a top tier video card, it's kind of pointless. And they're not even that good of a card to begin with. So, you can keep that in mind. Do a little bit with that. And then, yeah, so we've got a, a handful of episodes left for sure uh, coming up here. Um, not maybe that's might be a little hyperbolic, but we have we have some more episodes of definitely at least two more. This one and another one, maybe of computer builds. Just because we've got so many computers in a sense to do. Um, and yeah, we'll be all be coming together here shortly. But, let's see. I do wish there was a better way to find stuff in the game here. It's a single 16, that's a single. Here's a higher speed 8 gig single stick. And again, some of you would say, why not, you know, that's not that much better to do what I'm doing. I'm just doing it to try. And it's also for experimentation purposes, I should say. So there's reasons I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, we don't understand the mechanics of a game unless we try out the mechanic in its fullest. I do see a 2070 card that I'm probably not going to part with. Um, a single one, 
We know we're on two terabytes right now. All right, let's do this. Get the most memory or speed out of that card. And you can see that it helps because even though these boards accept shitty processors that we have, they're getting their memories worth. So, you know, we're getting the memory performance out of some of these. So it makes it worth it ever so slightly. Boom. Boom. All right, so this one's done. I got a 4,000 out of it, too. Just considering it's got mostly trash in there, that's not too bad. All right. The last of our I-3s. Of that type. I'm sure, we probably have some more floating around somewhere. You know, we're gonna take this fan. They don't need it. That, the gold and silvers, I think, will actually... I don't know if they're different brands. I, say, I think they'll actually work together, but... It's down... That's a 26. Oh, these are not dual. Neither is that 2060. Wow, okay. So actually, we'll keep this this golden edition. And the only reason I'm keeping number one, high wattage requirement, but number two, these three 2060s, though, better cards are not SLI or uh, the other uh, Crossfire. So to me, that means that they get used here. See, there's that there's that interesting trade-off you know crappy processor crappy primary parts and we find other ways to get it appealing one thing that glows Fifty-eight, fifteen. So, like, again, I think mean, that should be pretty terrible in performance. We're getting that slightly better performance out of the moderately better video card, and I think the RAM speed. It's just we can't put multiples in that are because they wouldn't be matching. We can essentially do it this way, which is a little different, but it works. And that's running okay. So let's work on this one. And then now we are here. Now we're getting into the like the i5. So this uh, this machine will get a dual card if we can get it in there. Um, 
you know, we'll put in the four sticks or the, no, you know, we, we'll put in these two sticks of 8,000. Really wish it wouldn't do that. Yeah, other than that, I wish the menu to navigate our tools was a little more efficient, as well as looking for specific things on the shop, but, meh, it's more annoying than it is terrible. Um... 155, 157, yeah, we'll just put that in. So we can do like these, this guy, and this guy. Drive, we can drive. And we'll boot her up, get our RAM speed here. And since we don't, we don't want to mess with the CPU core because we got two cards in here. Plus, you know, we're XMPing the RAM. So don't really need to do much uh, with regards to that as an improvement. 6479, I mean... Well, that's this has got a moderately good video card in it. All right, and this one is done. So I know some of you enthusiasts, the bigger enthusiasts, probably appreciate these episodes because you get to see, like, how I mix and mix, mix and mat, kind of mixing up uh, card performances here and RAM and all that, and you're seeing how I'm getting the different various results here, which can be neat. All right. Get these two be quiets, be quiets out here. Do wish it would stay where I had it. Clearly, it does not stay. Take it from this antic dog avenger. Okay, so now we want mother muther boards, and we want to stay away from our micro ATX boards. We want standard ATX, so. Let's just put in some, some of this. That's a mini micro a mini would work oh wait a minute you know what no smaller cases maybe this micro will put in there yeah Get rid of that. And then for this motherboard, we'll go with. It's funny how I get different results every time when I go low to high, but I, I it must be with what fits in this freaking thing, but still. Or I'm running out of boards. One of the two. Okay. Um, I 
All right, this guy's done. Another tower out. You notice I'm keeping the coal links and uh, the the Leon Lees here. Though I might do this one. I'm just gonna take the extra fans out, but I'm not committed to that yet. Let's get these Dark Avengers going. Then low to high. We'll just start with this guy. So process the hour. The I-5, 9600K. And we'll just get our little thing of that going. Um, nothing too crazy there. Let's go ahead and put in a full set of RAM. Really, game? Just leave it. Leave it there, please. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to piss me off. Just a wee bit. It's, it's all right. I mean, I'm not losing my shit over it, but it gets a little frustrating when you can clearly see, guys, what I'm trying to do. Um, and then power supply. Save that guy for something big. Um, this is a big power supply. Let's put that in now. Big in girth. More so than anything else. So 275, this, so let's just say 3600. This is a little less in wattage, so we can get away with these two. So let's put this in. Versus we'll need the 800 watt to do the other pair of these, sh these um, Shane, Sheen, whatever. Clock that speed. And again, we're just doing this for the cash. Boom. Breathe. I think I know where I want to use that. Those other sheen cards. Probably on this little guy. So let's do this one right away. So we'll go to power. This is 850. Which should give us should give us what we need in that performance for the two goofy cards that we got. Memory. seven of those got a metric ton of those oh god i don't know wow we have so much ram so much memory here let's do two of these i just put in there G skill rip jaw 3600 
thirty eight gig thirty six hundred. Wait, what is it? Ripjaw five, not four. Ripjaw five. There we go. So now we're going to get these weirdo cards in here. And then let's go ahead and run lighting. Do 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 do. Ready mark. Can't go very high on this one. So let's not. This is using so much power already. Let's go with this guy. So now we're in our Ryzen collection. We have six core processors. Nice. Again, we'll spend a little more on these when it comes to resources. this point we may as well just start putting stuff in as we have it We'll set this guy up. Boom. Let's get in there. 7391, that's not too bad. Not too great, not too bad. Lighting, 3D Mark Advance. Seventy-three fifty-six. So they're all kind of ending in that same kind of area, which is fine. It's over five thousand. That's probably that's probably really all I intentionally care about with some of these builds. Goes. 
And I think I'll just put in two. That way we have a spare. I don't know. We could put in the three, I guess. Normally you would never want to do that to a computer, if I'm not mistaken. But we will do it this time. Just to kind of try to ease getting rid of parts. So I would assume you're still getting the performance. Um, and the money from that said performance. So it makes sense, kind of, to just get rid of it anyway. Two terabyte. I gotta do this first. Seems kind of wonky, but okay. Now, like I said, you are totally welcome to do far more customization than I'm doing. For the sake of this, even in if it were me not doing a Let's Play, I probably would do it a little bit more just to get max out every computer. My mild OCD would be that way. But... For the sake of the let's play and kind of just showing the game off and what it does and you know the for people who want to just casually enjoy it this is a great you know this i think is a great strat for that you know yeah you're gonna take a couple hours to sell off a whole bunch of equipment but you're gonna be prepared to just start powering through the story once you're done and it doesn't hurt to take a wee little break from the story to practice builds because the game's going to make us do builds so all right again we're still over five thousand so and that's with two crappy 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 cards so we should be moving up in the world in numbers not down though you could argue some of those low processor ones are getting some pretty good numbers themselves all right let's pull out some more towers here as they say, the old country, these PCs ain't gonna build themselves. And you're like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Let's grab this. Dark Avenger. What's oh, a silver stone? Be quiet. Trying to pick out the what's clearly the worse or lesser towers here. In my opinion. There's a silver stone. I left all the fans in some of these, so that's not what's helping me out here. My Corsair Ice Q is also one that probably could go. This one's almost done. Alright, motherboards. <laughs> As a mini. We got two tomahawks. Okay. We'll get these tomahawks in. Just prepping it for accepting parts. 7,000. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Whew. But we are getting through our parts. I say we're probably getting to the halfway, if not beyond halfway mark, of how many uh, parts we've got left. I can't believe we've got more than this, but it's slowly and surely getting there. 
um, which is good. There needs to be a way to organize this. I, I, I vote, but so far, so not good. I'll take this, be quiet. And there she, yeah, there's the other tomahawk. I don't think that's in the right spot anyway. All right. four here. So we've got two fours and two eights. You know, let's go with the two eights on this one, I think, because of a memory. That 600 watt in there. That fucking thing out of here. Alright. <laughs> then we'll get these done. Oh, there's a three terabyte. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want a three terabyte. I want to use it. Too. I think I forgot I had those in there. We'll do the two fours in here. Throw in this one big stick of eight three thousand.
we'll make that breathe. Run the GPU. And we move on. Do these two guys. Go ahead and put all three sticks in here. We're starting to really get through these parts here, which is just great. We'll pop in this, run that. Now we're getting down maybe arguably to the sequential... No, not sequential, but the inevitable wire of maybe the blend between our best parts and our medium parts, I'm thinking. By the time we finish these four computers, we might want to start looking at best options just to see what happens or what we can find. Because we, I will mix and match RAM to fill those big motherboards, if I must. Um, because that would be a good deal. But we'll worry about that juncture when we get there. Not quite there yet. Did I? I did nothing. That's unacceptable. There we go. So our next dual card setup here would be these two 2060s. Oh no, they're not doable that way. Hmm. We're getting down to conflict. Interesting. Not a bad way, just we're running out of cards to duel. Here, these are not, not most of these are not duels. So, maybe we should wait. We could do all these with SLI, but not so much some of these other ones. So, really, we're out of dual cards, so pretty much. So, we may as well go oh, like keeping the SLIs. We'll start doing single cards at this point. And we'll be a little more conservative with our cards. Yeah, I think uh, we'll build a really powerful computer next. Use that last dual SLI that we've got, and then... 
just build a bunch of singles. Single card systems, which we're not going to, meaning we're not going to go crazy with them because they're not going to be able to perform crazy. But we'll, we'll do what we can. I don't know why I did that first. Come on. And then... We have some more room to play with, so let's play with it. Because we only got the one card in there. All right, eight thousand. That's not too bad at all. After each one of these, I need to turn around and check and make sure the computers are going. So far, so good. Yeah, you know, with the singles, we might be able to get them off to be as good as some of the doubles, just because we can beef their performance up better. So little things like that. We'll I'll, we'll do a reward for you guys if you stuck this long. We'll build a big big rig, one of the bigger rigs with an SLI card, just because we don't have a lot of. Uh, we're not gonna be able to dual card any of them, so I'm gonna actually hold on to some of those Titan processors going forward. It'll be pretty much us burning through all of our supply of low tier stuff including the ram i'm gonna look for the best memory that we have eight of whether we mix and match it or not um because i want to get that performance so let's go ahead and take out something from the front of our row here like this probably this uh take this guy let's take this coal link and do with this one it's got all a bunch of fans in it already so yeah see even with all that performance we only got about six thousand so we're really going to be cutting back here with performance just from the lack of video cards but we'll make it work we'll make it work let's do a big build once i get this put away We need this. We need the strongest power supply, which is about, yeah, clearly 850. I'm going to see if there's a big one that barely fits, but I don't see it, so we'll just put this guy in. Alright. 
Okie dokie. That's not even accurate. Oh, hi to low. Duh, yes it is. Oh, that's not enough. Probably could do it in the 16 gig 3000 range. Let's see. Yeah. Three thousand. Don't want to do the thirty two hundred, that defeats the purpose of trying to keep it somewhat consistent. Even if we go with a different brand too, mind you. Just wanted the speeds to max out roughly the same. Although I may not have a choice. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Now we are... One, two, three, four. I actually had eight of these. We can do that for another one, though. Right, well... such a waste. Okay, hold on. It really does make more sense to use the 3200s because there's almost eight of those anyway. If there actually is eight of those. There's seven of the blue one. And one of the slightly, I think the red one or the RGB one. These get oh, but they're eight gigs sticks. Wait a minute. Well, that's why they're eight gigs. That's fine. We'll just use these. If the speed's better. And there's actually eight of them. There we go. I have a feeling that's the, probably the best we're going to get out of this thing. We might have to fuck with that a little bit, but we'll worry about that get there.
All right, let's see. So far, no crash. No crash, no cry. This will be probably the last of the big rigs that we'll be able to do for a while. We got to do a bunch of single card machines now, so we're going to be floating in that seven, six thousand, seven thousand performance range, hopefully, and that's that's going to hurt. But we're going to get we're going to get rid of those cards. That's the selling point: is us getting rid of those cards. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not the best performance I think we've gotten, but to land right on 15,000 15, is pretty cool. All right, we're not going to mess with that. That's just a cool number. What a keep in it. A lot. We are. We open up a pack of Dars. Everybody wondering, that's like Japanese chocolate. <laughs> I'm rewarding myself. All right. That'll be a nice selling rig right there. Meow. All right. Well, let's put out some more towers here to get us ready for what's coming. I either need to do something with this tower or take it apart. We'll take it apart. I think, like I said, we're sticking with Cold Links um, and Lonnie Lee's. Leon Lee's, I'm sorry. As our uh, fancy cases. So. Anything not fantasy, we're going to take out here and kind of gut it. The reason being, these other cases don't deserve it nearly as much. For the, uh, rather the, not that the cases don't deserve it, the, the computers we're building don't deserve such nice stuff. But I will say Lilani Lee will be our water cooling um, towers. They seem to have the most room. Do not quote me on that. Damn you. I know some of you will, but they seem like they will, they would have the most room for liquid cooling apparatus. Which I'm curious about. We haven't gotten any used custom liquid, custom liquid cooling stuff yet, so that's a thing in and of itself. I'm willing to get rid of the coal links before I get rid of the Leon Lees, which is I'm not trying to show bias. Because I do have a Leon Lee tower at home. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four. That's going to be for something else. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, Jesus, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my God. 21. 21. We have 20 non Colink, non Leon Lee towers. Uh, so we have plenty of towers. So that's not going to be an issue. But with that said, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Archer Studios, for more live gaming action. Because when we come back, more rig building. Yay. But we are going to eventually run out of stuff to use. So it's all coming to, it's all going to come to a head in the next couple episodes. So. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.